Hey everyone, Vincent here from creativedejo.net and welcome to the fifth episode of After Effects 101, the series where I teach beginners the basic needs of After Effects. So today in this video tutorial, we're going to be going over the basics of expressions. Now before we get started, expressions are probably the most complicated and complex thing you're going to learn in After Effects because it's so messy, it's math involved, there's so many variables, there's so many parenting going on. It's just messy and complicated and it's related to math. And I know a lot of you guys aren't good at math. But the reason why we learn uh, After Effects expressions is because they're very, very powerful. You can do whatever you want as long as you know how to shape the expression. And it saves a lot, a lot of time as we'll see in this video tutorial. So let's hop right into After Effects here. We have a simple scene set up with the background text and a lens flare. Now let's say I wanted to animate the lens flare brightness and let's say you wanted to make the lens flare flicker. Like, you know, a dying light bulb or something. So in order to do this, we could traditionally just go to the lens flare layer and animate the flare brightness, hit a stopwatch for it, hit U on the keyboard. You see all the keyframes and we can move forward and manually edit the flare brightness to create a flicker so we can move uh, forward again and decrease the value to about 90 and go forward again and increase the value and you can keep on doing this until eventually you have a flickering effect right here as you see here and now that was only about a second of animation let's say we had a 30 second composition you would have to sit here and manually edit the flare brightness on and off for 30 seconds which is quite time consuming and painstaking. Now, there's a quick alternative way to create a flicker effect or a wiggle effect for a particular parameter. And that's the name of our first expression, the wiggle expression. So I'm gonna delete these keyframes first. I'm gonna go to the beginning of the timeline. And then let's say you wanted to, you know, flicker or animate the flare brightness to flicker. So hold Alt or Option and click on the stopwatch. So Alt or Option, hold it down and click on the stopwatch and I'll bring up the expressions control or the expression flare brightness in this case. Now, it will open up the default uh, expressions for the parameter. We're gonna ignore it and erase it for now and type in our own expression. Let's say we're gonna type in wiggle, open parentheses, two comma 50, close parentheses. Now let me explain what this expression means or does. So the first title right here is pretty much the title of the expression, what it's gonna do. So it's gonna wiggle the flare brightness. Now the first number, represents the frequency or how often it's gonna do it. So in this case, we have number two, it means two times a second. So it's gonna wiggle two times a second. The second number is by how much or the radius on how much it's gonna affect it by. So in this case, we have percentage right here. Flare brightness is measured by percentage. So it's gonna mess around with the flare brightness by 50% or so. So the second value is how much is it gonna affect. Uh, in certain cases, it might be pixels, might be percentage, might be you know hue. It just depends on what you're trying to animate and what the expression is applied to. But the first number is how often, the frequency, and the second number is by how much. So if we hit accept or just click enter or hit away. And as you can see here, our lens flare animates by itself without any keyframes. Now I think 50 is a little bit too much. We can, if you want it to, you know, not be so diverse and not, not affect it so much, you can just decrease the 50 to about 25. So it won't affect the lens flare brightness as much. And as you can see here, we animated the flicker of the lens flare without any keyframes, with a very simple expression, wiggle, frequency, and by how much. And just like that, we have created our expression right here to animate automatically. And this can be used for anything like position, flare brightness, opacity. It can be used for anything besides the flare brightness. Just keep that in mind. For an example, let's uh, show you how you can apply the wiggle expression to position. So I have this little shape layer right here. I'm gonna open P, click on P on the keyboard to bring up the position, hold Alt or Option, and click on the stopwatch again. It's gonna bring up the expressions control once again. Instead of flare brightness, it's gonna be expressions and then position. So we're gonna erase our default expression and type in wiggle. And let's do 0 0.25 comma 75, close parentheses. So it's gonna wiggle it uh, one fourth of a second, 0 0.25, and it's gonna animate and move it by, let's say 75 pixels. So if we hit accept and click away, you can see that we can animate our figure automatically without any keyframes. And this is really good if you want some random movement. Let's say you don't really want anything specific. You just want something to test or some random movement going on in the background. You can use the wiggle expression, which will wiggle our little rocket or whatever this is automatically. Now the last and final expression is something a little bit less complicated. It's called the time expression. And I think that these two expressions are, are the ones you're gonna be using most often when you're starting off with After Effects. The wiggle expression and the time expression. And what it does is it pretty much just animates something in a linear way, gradually, progressively. So we have a fractal noise layer right here, and then we're gonna to try to animate the evolution. 
Now, the evolution is just something to, you know, involve the effect, involve whatever's going on, just make it less static so it can move. So to animate the evolution, it's quite simple actually. Just hit a stopwatch for the beginning, move forward to the end, and just change the value to whatever you want. And then from then on, it's gonna animate by itself as you see here. So just two keyframes, not too bad, not too much work. But let's say you want to extend the composition. We go to the composition settings and change this to two. So if you look at it, our keyframes stop at once. Now, of course, we can increase the length of our layer, and then you have to manually move the keyframe to the end of the composition as so. And you know, it's not too bad, but let's say you had 30 layers, you had to extend the layers, and then you had to uh, manually move all the keyframes manually on each of the layer. Now, that's quite uh, painstaking again. And there's a quick way to, you know, ensure that you will have the evolution animate regardless on how, how long your composition is or keyframes. So if we delete the keyframes, we can actually go and hold Alt or Option once again, click on the evolution, and type in time asterisk 40. And what this does and what this means is it's going to time the value by 40. Very, very simple. And so from here on out, it's going to animate by itself with no keyframes. You can extend the composition and extend the layer and the keyframes or the animation will work without any keyframes. So very, very good, very, very versatile. And it's really good and it's a nice clean way to, you know, create a project, perhaps a project file. So the expressions make things a little bit easier, faster. It saves a lot of work and you should definitely incorporate them into your workflow. Now, I was first skeptical to, uh, to you know, include expressions in my daily workflow but you know after using it after a while and you know being more comfortable with it i'd um started using expressions in my daily workflow and i highly recommend you do the same thing uh so incorporate the two expressions right here the wiggle and the time expressions you're going to be using these two the most i find myself using that uh these two the most so check it out wiggle and the time expression keep that in mind very very simple tutorial don't forget to check out uh creativedojo.net it's the new VincentWin.com basically, and I pretty much post a whole bunch of articles on a whole bunch of things like Cinema 4D, um, After Effects, just a whole bunch of cool articles on the web, not created by me. So I want to share with you guys some of the great content tutorials out there, inspirational things out there on the web to you know increase your workflow, your knowledge and effects and design. So creativedejo.net, check it out. We have a whole bunch of categories, Photoshop, Photography, Cinema 4D, After Effects, freebies, Cool stuff here. Check it out. CreativeVisual.net. Link in the video description. And thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time in episode 6.